What's up guys, it's David. Um, I know it's been a couple weeks since my last video. Uh, thanks for bearing with me once again. Um, but yeah, tonight I'm doing a little bit of cleaning. I uh, just thought I'd kind of bring you guys along here and kind of show you the process uh, I go through and what I do and products I use. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I just want to start off with, uh, I guess showing you product I use. It's a uh, Repti chip. Uh, get these in these, uh, what is this? It's a 10 pound block, compressed block. Uh, I actually got a, a pack of, I think it was either eight or 10 of these uh, off of Amazon, uh, believe it or not. But um, yeah, I used to use um, the Cocoa Blocks by Freedom Breeder, but I could never find, um, I guess a dealer around that had it um, offhand. So everything I'd have to get was out of California because that's where they are. So shipping on it was kind of expensive. Uh, but with this on Amazon, it's uh, roughly the same. I find it's uh, actually a lot, of, a lot alike. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's uh, bigger pieces, but it's um, not quite. You know, keeps the dust down, and so uh, yeah, all in all, I, I really like this product here. Um, like I said, I do believe it is um, almost, well, definitely similar, if not exactly the same as uh, Freedom Breeder Cocoa Bucks. But um, yeah, this is what I use here. So obviously with this, uh, it's compressed block. You actually have to add water to it. Uh, recommendation when you get a big tub, like this one you see here. Uh, you just get this from uh, like Home, Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Uh, this is, let's see, it's a, just a tote. Looks like it's 27 gallons. It's a heavy duty, so not to worry about it breaking, being flimsy, or if you, you know, you're carrying it somewhere to, to fill the water. To, to get this wet so uh, definitely buy one of these um, what I do is I actually open this bag and put water in it get it to uh, about a third of the way let it soak up and then I'll dump it in here break it apart and then add more water to it uh, if you can't do it in the house do it in the bathtub if not do it outside with your garden hose uh, that way kind of keep the mess down your you know keep your house cleaner so I see I have it here I actually uh, dumped it out in here in this tub and you'll see it's um, kind of wet I don't like to get it too wet because uh, at times it'll sit in here in this tub it's not super breathable so it'll just be sitting in here it doesn't really mold but it's just um, I just don't like getting it too wet for when it's in the snakes I like to have it you know kind of moist and if uh, I need to up the humidity I'll just uh, spray the tub itself but if you look at it it's, it's not really dusty at all so uh, bigger chunks here. Let's, uh, this is actually, I don't know, I really like this product here. So basically what I do is um, I have all these tubs. I have extra tubs here in this rack. That is actually the ARS 5540. Yep. Yeah. Um, but just take a scoop here. This little plastic uh, is actually what I use for their water, their little water dishes. I just uh, dump it all in here. Spread it out a bit. In the corners. Usually like to have like, I don't know, roughly an inch out of the bottom. I think, well, with that, keeps it relatively clean, the tub itself clean, because uh, it, it, the urates and the and the poop gets stuck on the uh, on the cocoa itself. So I think it actually, about an inch there, keeps the, the mess down, the tub itself, uh, cleaner. That way spot cleaning is easier. Um, but yeah, just uh, put it here like this. And uh, basically put it in a water cup. I have, uh, we bring these up here. Yeah, the water cups I use for these are the uh, 16 ounce. They're uh, polypropylene. They're the clear deli containers you see everywhere. This one's made by Fabrico. Um, yeah, what do you say? 16 ounce, so it's a little bit deeper. It fits right in here in the cup holder perfectly. Put it right in here. Let me show you guys. Just right in there, perfect. Flush the top. 
and just a uh, perfect size for this tub so yeah so I did get these um, got 8 ounce and 16 ounce obviously the 16 for the bigger tubs 8 ounce for the little tubs that were there I have uh, but it comes in a, a pack of 500 uh, both of them do um, which you can find on like Amazon um, I can leave a link in the description for these as well but um, like I said it's just a normal like, easy process going uh, just you know laying the substrate down dropping the cup in and then uh, putting the animal in and filling up the water so here's another tip here uh, actually with these tubs I have these little uh, these clear a peel and stick kind of index card holders I guess uh, stick right there uh, reason I use that is because I have uh, use husband husbandry pro and uh, you'll see here takes little QR codes that you can scan let's see if you can see that but uh, basically just once you're cleaning, you just put it right here. You know, just uh, change substrate. Put their new uh, new card right here. And there you go. There you have it. That way, you just fill the water, put the animal in there, um, take their old tub, dump the substrate, and uh, wash it out. So basically, I just uh, get all these um, filled with substrate and put the water cups in then I start switching over the animals and then I switching over the QR codes but um, yeah it's a simple easy process I do hope you guys liked the video I know it's a short one it's uh, I don't know pretty self-explanatory on you know how you change substrate and tubs but you know I just want to put some content out for you guys you know uh, you guys thank you for subscribing uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next I will say that uh, you know Got some good things in the works here. Um, actually got a logo coming as well as uh, maybe some t-shirts and whatnot. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. See what we do next. Until next time. Cheers.